Well, former Texas golfer Justin Leonard knows all about NCAA success, winning the NCAA individual title for the Texas Longhorns in 1994 before a PGA Tour career that saw him win 12 times, including a British Open. He joined me this morning to talk about where golf is headed by first looking back at a successful weekend at Colonial. I think it's huge for the game of golf to give you know people some sense of normalcy, being able to get on their couch and watch the best players in the world play on you know really an iconic venue at Colonial Country Club. Uh, it's great for the PGA Tour. It's great for fans of the PGA Tour uh, and all of the players on it. And it's just it's great for the game. Uh, you know whether you've you know played it for forty something years as I have or for new golfers. You know, golf's one of the few sports that, that we've been able to continue to play through this time uh, of uncertainty and social distancing. And, and um, I think the, you know, the rise and spike in the game of golf and the level of interest will continue to grow. How do you see this season kind of playing out? Obviously, it's hard to tell right now, but, you know, where do you see golf going from here after a very, fairly successful weekend at Colonial this week? Yeah, I, I thought the weekend at Colonial was, was a massive success. Uh, from all the testing protocols and changes and things that need to happen, uh, and everything worked out beautifully. Now moving that bubble from you know Fort Worth, Texas to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. There's going to be challenges along the way. I think the first challenge is to get everybody on site healthy and keep them healthy. And then probably the next challenge is then rolling in, okay, when do we allow fans? And doing that on a limited basis. So I think that's important not only for the players, it brings an energy back to the event. For viewers at home, it does as well. But, but also the people in those communities allows them to maybe you know, be a part of, of events they've been a part of in the past. We see you on Golf Channel all the time, but what, what's your relationship with the game these days? What, how, how do you stay active in it? It's interesting because I haven't played a lot over the last three years. I stopped playing for fresh or tournament golf four years ago. I play some corporate golf. I play a little bit with my boys, but, but they've shown more interest this year. Maybe turning 48, getting closer to being champions tour eligible. I've actually started to play more these last four or five weeks, and it's been a lot of fun. And as you said, you're trying to pick the game back up again, but you know, what, what would that look like trying to get your game back in shape to play at that level? Well, I, I've covered a couple of, of events out on the Champions Tour as a broadcaster, and I realized quickly those guys are really good, and they work very hard at it. If I haven't played competitively for four years, obviously be a couple more years until I do. I, I don't hold some delusion that I'm going to go out and instantly have success. I think it's something that I'll need to work at uh, to get myself in the position to have success.